All right, we're here at a 204 Wellington Circle, Smithfield. Take a quick peek around the neighborhood there. There's a big field over here, so there's actually uh, some baseball that you know the kids could play. There's a little playground right out front, so it's kind of nice. Uh, there's not a huge backyard uh, in the back yard there, but uh, definitely nice to be able to. Um, you know, walk across the street, right across the street, and see the kids play. There's a lot of very, you know, kid-friendly neighborhood. A lot of kids riding the bike on the weekend. So, uh, obviously, your garage right there. And uh, as we take a peek in the backyard area here, uh, they actually have a little small patio in the back here. They set up a little barbecue pit section, uh, which I think is really nice. Uh, and you can see kind of very open uh, the whole neighborhood. But they have these really nice tall trees uh, so I kind of like that uh, kind of different uh, different dimension there to the to the backyard than what you most mostly see um, but yeah they have a little pit back there so somebody could uh, do a little barbecue roast little marshmallows in the rent winter uh, just a nice little uh, gathering section right back there but we'll head back inside and uh, take a look over here so they have a uh, actually really nice landscaping uh, over in the front, I imagine during the the summer it looks uh, even nicer. But uh, overall, definitely, definitely sharp looking. The whole neighborhood, um, everybody's really well maintained lawn, and uh, I like these two columns. You have this kind of stone front uh, right here. Nice old light fixture as you come inside. So I'll have to figure out where the door handle is. Uh, heading inside here, we have a very open high ceiling I'll pan up sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy uh, but you can see just a really cool uh, layout a lot of natural light that comes in the house as well uh, and they also have these uh, awesome ceilings up above here so this is kind of uh, kind of formal sitting room I guess if you want when you come in the house you can make it whatever you need to uh, but uh, this is what they have it they have a uh, hardwood floors obviously all throughout the house uh, and the bottom floor uh, so it's definitely nice there. Uh, we have uh, the formal dining room with the chair uh, molding all the way around. Of course, crown molding up above as well, uh, all throughout the house as well. So really, really sharp looking. And uh, we'll come take a quick peek uh, through the kitchen area. This is actually really sharp looking. We have a uh, pantry right here, always... Not a bad thing when you have extra storage space for the food there, but you have kind of this wet bar section and just really high cabinets as well as a little section just above so you can put as they have, you know, kind of pots, pans, uh, whatever the options are there, uh, whatever you choose to do, a little decoration around the holiday season. Uh, so a lot of options there. And as you, we take a peek uh, throughout the kitchen, uh, they have really nice lighting up above here as well. Uh, but they also have a, a gas stove, so for any any chef, this is ideal. You have granite countertops, which just I think make everything uh, accents very well. Um, as we take a peek over here, step back and give you guys a different view. Of course, this leads out to the backyard. That was again the fire pit I was mentioning uh, earlier. So as we take a step back, you have this awesome island uh, in the middle to give people an opportunity if they want to sit there have a little breakfast or. Uh, you know, kind of stay out of the way while uh, the chef is uh, doing their thing there. So, nice big, uh, big open kitchen though, which I think is just really something special there. Of course, uh, that leading back over down uh, the hallway there, kind of pan across. You could use this as kind of where you have the house phone set up, a um, little desk area uh, for somebody with granite countertops as well, uh, matching the kitchen countertops. And then you have these two nice... Uh, awesome columns over there uh, which just really make it look sharp real open entrance but still very uh, very custom uh, so they use this as kind of a informal little uh, dining area if, if you will and as we take a look in the living room there again a lot of natural light then you have that awesome fireplace over there just exceptional uh, I think it looks absolutely amazing uh, and of course just a real Real big living room, uh, as well with the ceiling fan up above, so keep everybody cool during the summer times. But can't get over that fireplace. Definitely uh, 
ready for uh, some memories, uh, some stockings, or whatever uh, your family celebrates there. Over here we have, uh, just to pan back across real quick, you do have a little coat closet right there, uh, here as well, a little linen. Uh, you do have a half bath down here. So nobody's having a race upstairs or anything like that. It makes it a little bit easier. So, of course, the half bath down here. Um, that leads back to the garage. Um, of course, in here we have our uh, washer and dryer uh, connections, washer and dryer kind of laundry room, and they also have that additional little uh, station there. Uh, but plenty of storage space to stick your detergents and everything. So we'll take a peek upstairs now. And as we head upstairs, turn back around at the top so you guys can see uh, that lovely chandelier section uh, above the house there, above the uh, staircase. You guys can see just uh, with the window there, just a bunch of natural light, but real cool layout, real cool layout. So we'll start um, right over here in this first bedroom. Um, this is uh, one of five here, so many bedrooms and a lot of storage space. Uh, you have your closet off there to the right, ceiling fan, just overall just something special there. Very, very nice. Very spacious. In here, just across the hall, we'll take a look at the master bedroom. Very, very... Uh, large and just kind of cool ceilings again. You got your ceiling fans, a lot of natural light in here as well. And they have a huge walk in closet uh, which just keeps going and going. And they also have this amazing bathroom, tiled bathroom. Uh, they have uh, two sinks, so you have one on each side so people can get ready without uh, bothering anybody else. We have a half bath over here. So makes it easy for uh, getting ready and you're not disturbing anybody else while you're um, if somebody's using the bathtub taking a shower brushing the teeth whatever in the morning definitely makes it easy uh, everybody's out of each other's hair so definitely making things uh, smooth in the process of getting ready in the morning there um, we'll take a look down the hall here as we head to the left we have Another full bath here as well, tiled. Uh, you have your dual sink, so again, uh, everybody's kind of staying out of each other's hair with uh, more sinks there to brush the teeth and put the makeup on and what have you. Uh, you have obviously uh, one of the little girls' room here. Uh, makes it a little bit uh, nice if uh, you did as well. Pink room and everything. Uh, we can always adjust the color if necessary there. Uh, you also have a closet. Uh, pretty decent sized closet down there. So, heading down the hallway, um, we have the uh, last two bedrooms here, and we have a decent sized closet over there to the, to the right. And then, of course, we have uh, they utilize this as kind of a workout space. So, again, very decent size there, very spacious. Uh, and the last one they utilize as a, a guest bedroom, the fifth bedroom here. Uh, we have, uh, I believe, this is a walk in closet as well. Um, we have a ceiling fan up above here, so um, yeah, overall, uh, exceptional house, and uh, come fill out an application now.